ETV! What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Brody. I'm back with a new video, and this is a new series where I'm going to be reviewing each episode of The Flash, and it's about to start now. Let's get it. Alright guys, so welcome to this new series. The first episode of The Flash came on today entitled Flashpoint. Now this is the third season of the show and I am a huge fan of it. Uh, I used to love Arrow, but Arrow fell off in the third and fourth season and I'm not too much on that. So I decided that Flash would be the one that I would roll with. It's been consistent each and every year. It's had the cliffhangers, the action, all that. So I was really anticipating this new season, especially because it was entitled Flashpoint, which is one of my favorite uh, you know, series of the Flash comics and the animated features, all that. So I was really excited. So this episode actually started off with Barry being in the future after stopping um, Eobar Thawne from killing his mom. Now, if you don't really follow the show, I'm not going to go too heavy into it. But his mom was killed by Eobar Thawne, and that pretty much set him on the path of becoming the Flash down the line. But he stopped him because he was so tired being left alone and not having his family his dad was just killed so he's right now all in his feelings so that's why he ran back and killed Sapio Barthon and put him in a glass case and wanted to live in solitude in the new star city so three months go forward and he's been living here he's been loving life both his parents are alive he doesn't have to be the flash because kid flash is there and he's saving the day but as time goes on he's starting to lose his memories he's starting to realize that things are becoming to be erased from his mind and things are not being what he originally had thought which was going to be some type of utopia for him being the flash and have to just have his family so now he goes back to Eubar Thon, who he has caged away, and he's telling him, you're in the Flashpoint. This is an alternate dimension because you stopped me from doing what I was supposed to do. So now you're going to lose your abilities, your memories, and Flash don't want to believe that. So I'm at this point, I'm really loving it because you're getting that dark tone from the show. You're getting the gritty darkness that Flash really wants to fight for what he loves, but he's doing things that he shouldn't, and there's consequences to it. And I think that's a really good way to start the show, especially with this show being 20 plus episodes. I know there's going to be a lot of filler episodes, so having the show start off on a high point with such a dark tone, a lot of great uh, cinematics, and a lot of plot lines that are being set up. Originally, I thought that this was just going to be him being in this time zone and just dealing with it, but they really sped through it to the point where he decided, yo, I need to go back because I'm losing all my abilities, I'm losing my memories, I can't sacrifice that for this little bit of happiness. So, throughout the episode, he's making decisions to tell everybody that he's the Flash. He gets, he gets <laughs> one of the funnier parts of this actually is seeing Cisco have Ramon Industries where he is a multi-millionaire, he owns everything, Star Labs doesn't exist, uh, Caitlin is a eye doctor for children, uh, Dr. Wells is not in this episode, but a lot of the things that people were from the previous universe are different now. Uh, Joe, the detective, he's a drunk. Uh, even again, Kid Flash, Wally West, he is more confident. He's, he's a little bit different than he was in the previous season, where he's a lot of, it's real standoffish and kind of dark. He's really more happy-go-lucky, which kind of coincides with his character in the comics. He's really jokey, goes with the flow and makes jokes and understands his place and I like that because he was really joking about saying I'm the Flash and he was like no you're Kid Flash so that was the cool ongoing joke in the ongoing part of this season series excuse me so going throughout the episode at towards the end with the more main highlight fight which the rival who has super speed uh, he's fighting the Flash and at the end they pretty much get their fight all done with the nice uh, fighting choreography I see they're really emphasizing more hand-to-hand -hand combat not so much of the running only it's a lot of emphasis on the electricity and the power with their swings and the kicks I thought that was pretty cool um, towards the end of this episode I did feel a little bit of the corniness come back where Flash was like, yo, I can't do it. He's too strong. And then Iris comes in with her classic, Barry, I don't know if you uh, know this feeling, but I know I, the old me who loves you didn't, would know what to say, but I believe in you. Like, come on, man. Don't give me that bullshit. I'm not trying to hear the I believe in you stuff, man. You, you, right now, this is litty gritty, man. You got to get it where you can and just go get it. 
And I think that that was kind of stupid. I didn't like it a lot, but you know, you gotta, that's just what happens. At this point in the series, you know you gotta get the corny with the great, and that was the corny part of the episode, that whole monologue part of I believe in you. And then he got his memories back, which really didn't make sense. I don't know why that triggered his memories to come back. Maybe he felt the love for Iris that he does in the previous universe, so maybe that's why he was getting all those feelings back. But needless to say, he was able to beat the guy and he went and got Eobarthon out and he said goodbye to his parents because he knew he had allowed him to kill them in order, well to kill him, her in order to get back to the reality that he thought he was going back. So fast forward, Eobarthon runs back in time, kills his mom, drops him back off and he says, you think this is what you thought you had but you won't, you, I'll come back and let you, and we'll just see how you actually react to where you're at. So towards the end of the episode, Barry goes back into the house to see Joe and Wally getting a beer. Sorry about your dad's passing, Barry. You know, la la la. And he says, where is Iris? Cutscene, Iris seems to have a bad relationship with Joe and that's where the episode ends. Joe walks out and is upset. Wally says, yo, you know that him and her don't talk and now you see that this whole reality is screwed up even worse than when he left. So that's pretty much the end of the actual episode itself. Wally is now in back home, but the change of events, it seems that there is not what they used to be. People have changed. Uh, characters are not who they were. They're acting different. Their choices that they made, are all it's all crazy. And I'm really looking forward to what is to come in the following episodes in this super long season. I love The Flash and I think they did a good job setting up the plot points with different characters and kind of giving you a taste of what's to come. So I know this is a little long, there's a lot of rambling in it, but I did enjoy this episode. I think you guys will enjoy it too. I try to give a brief synopsis of everything that's popping, but we will see what happens next week. Let me know down below if you guys are a fan of the show and if you watched it, what you think about this. And uh, I'll see you guys when I see y'all. Y'all know how I do. Shout out to TV. Out.